Okay, hello. This is a tutorial on the Moodle quiz module. So what I'm going to teach you today is how to create a matching type quiz. The first thing we have to do is uh, you have to log in as a teacher in your uh, Moodle site and then look for the administration box. Okay, right here and uh, course administration and then you look for the question box the question bank rather which is uh, has a link questions and it will take you to the uh, question bank form now we'll leave everything as default and what we need to do is to create a new question so we simply choose and select matching and that will take us to a form wherein we would um, input the uh, needed text so you need to put in a question name in this uh, in this tutorial what I'm going to be creating the question I'm going to be creating is about Chinese numbers now I've, I've, I've already created a uh, a question in advance so that we can do this faster so I'll just uh, select the question that I the matching type question that I've created so that I can show it to you and we'll edit it so here you can see that uh, what you have to do is first is you have to supply a question a descriptive question name so that you can identify your uh, question in the question bank and then after that you have to create the question stem uh, more or less it's uh, well we, I, I have written here the instruction on what to uh, what they're going to match now we've noticed here that I have included the graphics uh, pictures of the Chinese numbers in the question stem rather than putting them in the questions the matching questions now this is because uh, when unfortunately the matching questions uh, in the matching question you cannot put images but only text so what I did here and I think that's a weakness is to simply identify them by letters okay now after that is uh, you select the grade I have uh, selected the uh, 10 because there are 10 uh, numbers so and then you put in an overall feedback this will be displayed after the uh, question had been uh, finished and then we would want to shuffle the answers uh, the choices uh, or, or the uh, answer drop down uh, list so what we will do is we'll check this of course later on you'll have to um, also turn on shuffle answers in the quiz activity that we are going to create later on now after that is you provide the matching question and answer so here we have A is matched to 8 B is match to number five and so forth so we will uh, add one more because we need one more uh, so we have J we need J so what we'll do is we have J and then J of course is uh, number two so we'll match that with number so okay this is should be capital number two if you need more uh, questions and answer let's say you have 20 items so you just add click this button to add more uh, blank sets now when you have finished this you just click save changes or save uh, depending on whether you're editing or you're creating a new uh, question so now we have the question here listed as Chinese numbers and you can see that uh, 
this is different from this is matching question uh, as, uh, identified by this icon and type and this one is multiple choice so it's easy to identify which um, question you would like to include in your quiz now we'll, we'll have to go back to the um, main course page and what we're going to do is we're going to turn editing on and then we are going to add an activity and select quiz okay so uh, we'll have to give the quiz a name so this will be uh, matching type quiz for instance and then uh, an introduction like uh, this is a matching type quiz matching type sample quiz on chinese chinese numbers okay so we'll leave uh, most of the uh, settings on default uh, we can learn that later on um, okay temps overall feedback and then okay coding module settings Uh, we need to set shuffle questions okay. to yes, I think, and also shuffle within questions. Um, we can also we'll also try to put a time limit. If you want to put the, it will uh, sh later on uh, it will display a clock, so we'll enable a time limit of in minutes, like should be finished in five minutes. Okay. Okay, I think that would be enough, and then we'll just save and display okay. so here is our question and we have no questions added yet what we want to do is we want to add the Chinese numbers and we can do that easily by add to quiz the uh, this arrow here chevron actually or we could uh, select click the checkbox and click the button add the quiz and you can see here that our quiz is there and the grade is 10 okay so we would want to preview this so we click preview and you can see here is our test and this is the clock and we have five minutes to answer that so let's say oh our clock is actually blocking one of the graphics and we have some problems here with the <laughs> with the images here <laughs> oh I didn't expect that so one of the images is missing anyway uh, so A is uh, I forgot <laughs> I think that's supposed to be 8 okay and we w if we want to submit we just click submit Okay, and uh, again, uh, one problem with matching type is that it will show. It doesn't really care whether you fail or pass. The overall doesn't give you enough feedback. So we'll need to design that later on if you want to provide more feedback regarding mistakes. So it's not as robust as. Uh,